Hello, welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today, we are painting a space marine. Probably circa 10 years ago, so like 2011, 2010, I used to have a blog called The Fallen Princes, and the main part of that blog was actually based around this very book. The infamous Volume 9 Imperial Armor book, The Badab War. Uh, I ran a weekly blog roundup with people that collected forces to do with this conflict. I had, oof, I had maybe a list of a hundred people that were building armies and painting, and we had a lot of fun back then doing this project. Uh, those days are long gone, as is that blog. So, what has this got to do? With this, well, I plan to redo my favorite army from this era. The Astral Claws. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, but Peps, this uh, force was destroyed following this conflict. Why would they have Primaris Space Marines? Well, the reason is because I want to. And it's my hobby. So today we are going to take this model, which hopefully you can see is primed black with a dry brushing of gray, just to help me see where the details are. We're going to take that. We're going to use some lead belcher, to give it a good silverness. And then we're going to do some contrast creed camo for the eye lenses. Followed by Leviathan Blue for the shoulder pads. We're going to use some Nasdrag Yellow to give us this nice gold plating. And then we're going to hit it with some Earth Wash. Hopefully, I can create a pretty good tabletop standard looking figure with relative ease. You're going to join me on this adventure if it works. We will continue to progress down collecting a Space Marine Army route. If it doesn't, we'll have to think up a new way of painting a Space Marine force. So let's dive in. So as you can see, he is just one of those pushed together figures that came free. Did it come free? It came free with some paint, I believe. This was one of the ones released when they restarted Ape. And the Primaris were brand new to the game system. I am a big fan of the model. Which is why we are going to try and make them into Astral Claws. Step one. Lead Belcher. I'm going to use my trusty, very crap brush to quickly brush this on. We'll zoom up this stage and yeah you'll join me on the next bit now i don't need to be delicate here but it's kind of going to be a very heavy dry brushing i don't know if you can see this very well just putting it on to give it the color what i'm hoping is when it comes to doing the contrast shading or glazing, glazing shading, this will actually, the metallic will come through and hopefully we'll get nice shiny paint scheme across the whole model. Forgot to do the uh, backpack, the back of Z. So there we go, nothing too fancy, a very strong dry brush and this has got silver all over the model now, Oop. silver is all over and now 
Let me just let that dry for a minute. Whilst the silver is drying, I'm going to use some burnt umber just to cover the uh, sandy base. I hate using my uh, sit down miniature paint for bases. I'm not that precious over my basing. Basically what I'll do is slap the brown on and at some point I'll dry brush it just to pick out some depth and give it a wash. End of the day, this is just a line trooper. Don't have to be precious over him. If he was a character, different story. There we go. Nice and simple. Did get a little bit of brown on his foot, so I'm going to see if I can get rid of that. There we go. So the brown is on. See if I can zoom in a bit more. The next stage is to do his eye lens. Because that is the only part of the model that's going to be green. So for that, I am using Contrast Creed Camo. It's coming through. It's working. It's working, guys. Proof of concept. That is the green done. Not even sure if you can see that I've done it. <laughs> but I know I've done it. You just watch me do it. There we go. You can kind of see it. Now on to Leviathan Blue. This will kind of be make or break. Let's just zoom out a minute. So this guy, the veteran brother Amru of the Stone Guard. He is my inspiration, so he only has one blue shoulder pad. Other astral claws seem to have double blue. Some seem to have double silver. Does seem to be a mix, like strike leader double blue, double silver, single blue, single blues. I think I'm going to go for a single blue. It's going to be on this shoulder. The other shoulder would obviously have the tactical markings.
Now, the only problem I've come across with contrast paint, when you do it on a flat surface like this, it does have a habit of pooling. So you really want to just load up the brush, let it do its thing. Try to stop any pooling happening. That looks very dark on there. Let's just uh, be intrigued to see how if it lightens up. Hopefully, it lightens up. Very hard to tell at the moment. A dark model with dark silver. What are we thinking so far? Right, next up because I don't want to touch the blue shoulder pad for a little while. I'm going to use some contrast flesh terror red. I'm mainly going to pick out this purity sill and the gun casing. I think that is it. Do enjoy contrast paints because it takes a lot of the work out. Just make sure that you've got enough paint on the brush and the paint does the rest. Now whilst we're doing this, would you like to get some videos on the lore of the Astral Claws and the Badab War Conflict? As well as obviously my decision making as it comes to building the army? Do you even want to see me build the army? I was contemplating just painting every army from the Badab War in Primus schemes. See how that would look. Um, but as I read more and more of the book once again, I felt myself being absorbed into the storyline. And just knew I wanted to Rebirth the Sons of the Tyrant. Like I said, I'm not too precious of that line trooper. You think his, no, no, his shoulder pad looks pretty good. So far this seems to be working guys. I'm very happy. Now what is this chest piece? Okay they seem to do the chest piece in a bony scheme. So I need to work out how I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try and use some flayed one flesh.
Now I've thinned this down. Just with a little splash of water. I don't want to lose too much detail. Clumpy paint and I'm gonna try and hit this up with some uh, contrast gulam and flesh. I think uh, I'm gonna also use this on his parchment roll. And whilst that's drying, it's probably a good time to say remember to give me a subscribe. I think at time of recording, I'm just past the 100 mark. I think I hit 105 recently, which is beyond amazing. Thank you all for tuning in. Next step is 150. Uh, my goal for 2020 was to hit 100. I'm rather pleased that I've done it with a month spare. to do his pouch as well I think. There we go. Then racing this paint a lot with all the black templars. Just gonna use this for any leg joints. Just helps define the ribbing, I guess. I think that will do for the black. Maybe I'll do a bit of the gun. Do uh, the gun handle as well as we're here. What are we thinking so far? Is this going to work? I'm going to come back to the Creed camera. 
I'm going to work it into his computer screen. Pretty happy with it so far. Nah. Do the Nasdrag yellow. So these are just going to be the shoulder pad rimming. How far in are we? 27 minutes in. I think I have a very serviceable tabletop standard Space Marine, to be honest with you. Like, I think contrast paints were one of the best things to come out of Games Workshop. I know people be like, ooh, glazes, they've been around forever. But I just like these. There we go. Gonna pick out some random parts to do in what I'm saying is gold. Maybe this is a uh, squad marking. I remember from the old days that the Astral Claws mostly used numbers on their knee pads. The show company. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Look at that. I'm pretty impressed so far. This has took Barely any time. And I have a very serviceable figure. Sorry, bright light. Like, sure, not going to win any painting awards. But a squad of 10 of these on the table is going to look quite impressive. Next up, Zandri Dust. Purely for the base. Just going to dry brush the base. 
whilst we wait for the rest of the model to dry. Face is done. Right, we're going to do the chest piece and his parchment using Gulliman Flash. Find this is a very easy way to do leather esque pouches. And what I'm going to do with the parchment is just run my finger over it. It just lines it back up. Same with the chest piece. Look at that. I'm rather happy so far. So if I can get this to fix on him, we got green eye lenses. Got some parchment, chest piece done, gold trim on the shoulder pads, blue shoulder pad ready for either the, the Tyrant logo or the actual Astral Claws. One ready for his tactical markings. Pretty happy with this. What, 35 minutes in? You can see how if I was batch painting, I could have a squad of 10 done quite quickly. I think I am going to make this black. Throw this part black as well. A little bit of a brighter blue, simply a teeny tiny bit, don't think you can see that, teeny tiny bit. A little pop of colour. And then on his little device here, see if we can do something. Nothing too fancy. <coughs> Now for the classic Agrax Earthshade. 
just going to slap this on over the entire model. Just rubbing that shoulder pad back a bit. I don't want it to get too dark. We will leave this to dry. We will be back in a bit. Hey, so we have all the base coats on. Got the brown wash on. I'm pretty happy. It's tabletop standard. I'm not going to win any painting awards, but I got three colors on there. Got a wash. The base is pretty good. Just want to do some dry brushing with my uh, lead belcher. Zoom. There we go. Uh, with the hopes of just catching some edges, brightening that up a little. It is purely a dry brush though. So I want to make sure most of the paint is off the brush. And then just stand at the, there you go. And I just want to catch some key areas to brighten them up. Nothing too exciting, it just gives him a bit more of a shine. There we go, whilst we're here. going to do the same on his chest plate. Tiny bit of paint on the brush. There we go. Just lightened it up. Nothing too extreme. Bit of the base as well. This is where I'm gonna stop. We'll take some nice pictures, hopefully. You can see what I've done. And yeah, thanks for tuning. And there we have it. I have an astral core. Of course, he still needs squad markings. He's obviously not the most exciting model. He is basically, uh, what, silver, black, blue, yellow, and some bone. And a little bit of green and red. But I feel if I do a squad of ten... I can make a pretty cool Incessor squad, or Intercessor squad. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope maybe this inspires you to have a go. I'm very tempted to try and paint one of every chapter that did, that was involved in the Badab War. Let me know if that interests you, because that might actually be what the project is, rather than a full army. Because I've been seeing a lot of rumours about Eldari, so if they come back, this will be on the back burner again. But thank you for tuning in. Cheers.